to a candid interview uh, that JJ Lalita gave to her sister channel in 2009. Jay Lalita confessed that it was necessary to be strong and tough in order to keep a tight grip over a party as huge as AIA DMK. When asked about her highly inaccessible nature, Jay asserted that she had never consciously tried to project any image. Take a look. As far as being inaccessible is concerned, am I inaccessible to you? No, I'm talking about the aura around you, ma'am, when, when you go around, you know, people... people In today's... Uh, you feel that that's a shield because you're a woman. It's not something that I consciously do. I have not consciously tried to project any kind of image. I'm just being myself. Now, in order to be a successful leader of a very large party, we have 1.5 crore members in our party. I can show you the membership lists and the list of numbers of membership cards. It's genuine because we have just renewed our membership. So we have 1.5 crore members in our party. Now to keep a tight grip on such a large mammoth party is no easy task. So. In order to be able to run such a party successfully and steer it to victory, you've got to be tough, you've got to be strong. Many times you have to be ruthless. You also have to be compassionate. You also have to be considerate. I'm all of these things. But most importantly, unless you are strong and tough, and a hundred times more so if you happen to be a woman, you just can't cope with the pressures of a political career. You just cannot run a large party like this. And having been the chief minister, I can also say, you cannot govern a state, you cannot administer a state well, unless you are strong and tough. So I have to be strong, I have to be tough. Now, when I am strong and tough, and when I run my party successfully, and when I give a good, efficient administration, Instead of people appreciating my performance, they say, oh, she's tough, she's autocratic, she's dictatorial, and so on and so forth. If I had not been any of these things, if I had given a weak, inefficient administration, if I were not able to keep a grip on my party, they would have said, oh, she's a failure because she's a woman. That's it. <laughs> in 1999, you pulled down the BJP government. That's resulted in an impression that you are possibly an unreliable ally. Would you say that things have changed from 1999? Things have definitely changed. No one remains uh, static or stagnant. People grow. As the years go on, I have grown, evolved. I have developed a lot of maturity. And I have gained a lot of experience. That comes only with time. And I've gained a lot of knowledge also. And definitely I'm a very different person from what I was 10 years ago. I'm growing, I'm evolving all the time. And because something happened 10 years ago doesn't necessarily mean the same thing will happen again. And as to my being a dependable or undependable ally, time will prove what I am. That's a very candid interview done with